Okay, so let's get this material. And same, the material, I did mix it with less water. So it can fill in any of the defic deficiencies. Well, why oh, there's hair, there's hair in my mud, not mine. Okay, so, and you don't need to go right up to the edge because it will be difficult maintaining an even pressure on the skimming blade. So we just go as close as we can to the edge. And again, working from one direction to the other and then pulling your material, fresh material, into your previous coat. And I also like to do this. Just to remove any layer of dust to allow this material to properly adhere to the surface. Because if you think about it, you have a thin, thin layer of dust that acts as a barrier and prevents the mud from sticking adequately. And anywhere here, we're just going to apply mud with the putty knife. Like that. And I'd like to just have it like about an eighth thick. And then. There, we will wipe it with the skimming blade. Okay, so I think that's okay. There, like that. All right. Blade here, and then we'll stretch from right to left. And I don't like to push down all the way at first, I just press lightly, take off bulk of the material. And then as I wipe again, I'll press down slightly harder to make it thinner. If you push down really hard at first, then you may need to apply more material if you took too much off this way. You just keep pulling your blade across, removing a little bit each time till you can see it's about an eighth thick or less than an eighth and it's a nice even coat. Okay, so that looks like it's good. And that's how much material is left. And then I'm just going to touch up these corners like that with your putty knife. And any imperfections you see, if they're higher, then that's okay because we can sand that down. But if you see that there's material missing and you see any holes or anything like that, that's what you're going to need to fix with more material. All right, so that looks good.
So after I do this, I feel like it will be in a good enough condition, in a good enough stage where I'll feel satisfied with giving it the final sand. Now, because I did do a good base coat with the skimming blade first, the wall is nice and even. And the reason I'm still using the pool trowel is, even though I'm just applying the material, it won't gouge the edges when I pull it across. Like it would a regular trowel. All right, so you just keep doing this until you make your way all the way around. here. And you're going to keep doing this all the way till you do the top and then you do the bottom and then I'll show you what it looks like after it's been skimmed. <laughs> 